how to detect and avoid fake news or information that may affect the prediction models. Yeah, mm -hmm. simple one. Well, um, there are two ways. Uh, the most obvious way is that you have to use supervised learning. Uh, somebody has to label a certain piece of news as fake. You know, um, otherwise it's, uh, uh, you know, the model cannot learn what is the fake news. So this is more very similar to a spam filter that uh, many, uh, that has been used very successfully in uh, your, you know, Gmail or some other, um, you know, uh, online mail service. Uh, you can, uh, you know, you, you certainly part of the Gmail uh, spam filter is based on supervised learning where a user designate a particular piece of mail uh, as spam. But uh, uh, part of it is also unsupervised learning where um, it can, you know, based on uh, some of the features of uh, spam mail that they use as specify, they can generalize to um, uh, uh, a clustering algorithm to, you know, cluster those email that are very similar in nature to the spam mail that the user has uh, designated. So similarly with uh, fake news, uh, if a user can, um, uh, let's say, hand label some of these uh, news as fake, then the uh, machine learning algorithm can uh, apply it to many other news items and cluster them so that, uh, you know, it can uh, find um, uh, uh, this essential uh, ingredients that uh, make a news fake. Maybe they're, you know, they're, they're based on features such as, for example, uh, you know, where they are posted, how many different venues they are posted, and uh, you know, the track record of the uh, poster and so forth. Now, uh, the uh, to talk a little bit more about the unsupervised size. So, you know, you can, for example, say that a particular financial news item is useless, is fake. You know, it, it doesn't matter whether it's fake or or it's just irrelevant, uh, when it produced no um, significant market reaction, or if the market reaction quickly mean revert uh, in a short time period. And that one, uh, you don't need to have a, a human to label it. So you can just, uh, you know, categorize all those news, uh, which, uh, you know, does not produce a sustained um, shift in price for a particular uh, asset. For, for a particular stock under consideration, and then you can, um, uh, you know, look for common characteristics using clustering technique on those uh, pieces of news. Uh, that that so, so hopefully those will either be irrelevant or fake news that you can you can uh, extract and detect automatically going forward. Yeah, so basically we can tag the signals and then based on that, uh, AI will itself uh, take care of it. So uh, interestingly, um, uh, Dr. Chan, so uh, what happens, like it's it's a very, uh, curi I, I was a bit curious about like what happens, let's say if uh, there is this news portal that got hacked and uh, some uh, uh, hacker puts a wrong news over there, but the authority of that newspaper portal or probably his twitter of that uh, uh, portal is pretty much high what happens like is there a way like, because that is genuine content is there a way if, uh, uh, this ai can curb it uh it would be very hard because uh, you know obviously uh, if it is uh, you know uh, a news that is posted um, by a uh, reputable organization, um, you know, it's it it doesn't it it lack many of the characteristics of a uh, typical fake news, which is posted on various social media and also you know very identical piece of news posted on multiple platforms. So you know, if if a um, top Bloomberg or Times and Reuters pick up this news and re re broadcast this through the news feed, everybody would regard that as um, uh, significant news. So that kind of news, um, I think it is extremely difficult to detect and therefore we rely on the uh, editor of the news services to perform that function. So hopefully they uh, will have a better algorithm uh, to detect fake news on their end before posting it to their feed because once they post it to their feed, um, 
I am highly doubtful that the uh, AI algorithm would uh, regard it as fake news simply because of the the platform that it was posted on. Thanks for the answer, Dr. Chen.